throw out some more leather little straps on here somewhere. I think we sit around here would be a good spot. And then maybe over here. Maybe we can add another couple down here. That might look pretty cool. Let's go. Or do we want like a really large one up here maybe? By the top? That doesn't work with a hair. Kind of cool. Have to re fix what kind of hair is going into it. I mean. Look where my low poly is at. Oh my god, there's a low, low poly. It'd have to be higher than that then. Are we streaming on Dota or on Creative right now? We're on Dota. Okay, just trying to find the stream again because I had to reload on my phone. And the Twitch app doesn't like reloading for some reason, so I have to like refind the stream, which is kind of annoying. Hey, Viper. That's right, I did say Ayo Viper on the stream video. Hey, if you just type in Live Workshop on the search, you'll find it like on people. You'll find it right away, man. Yeah, Viper. I don't. Yeah, Viper. You can't even make items for him yet. The Shrek, you can. Dark Seer, you can. And Dark Seer. Yeah, Dark Seer doesn't have a lot of sets either. There we go. Okay. Uh, who doesn't have a lot of sets? Sorry, didn't catch that one. Viper. Oh yeah, yeah Viper. Yeah. Well, Viper needs a really model to be honest. Saludos desde Ecuador. Hey man, what's up? We're working on a Legion Commander set actually. I know this looks like a beard, I guess, from the front. But it's actually her hair on the back, tied up with little leather straps. Check it out. Okay. Coming out of her helmet. We're not lying, it's really that. Trust us. Pretty early on the seabrush, though. Oh, you see so many crazy pixels right now. Jesus, why the hell is it creating a brush every time I go out of this thing? Holy hell. It's created like 50 brushes for no reason. For the skinning. And there's no way to get rid of them. I wonder oh what God. the hell you're doing over there. Yeah, like, every single time I went outside to select a Versi, it like... Wow, seriously? Look at this. Woohoo! How the hell do I delete brushes? I'm, I'm gonna have to Google this. I'll have to redo the low poly on this a little bit. She got nicer shapes out of it this one. Thing over here. Do a quick test. That looks with everything on there. God damn it, that looks good. Okay, we're gonna have to do it. Put a leather strap going all the way up here. Big bunch of this hair. Make it a nice longer, longer than any other ones that we've done so far. not to do it but it just it actually looks works really really well for it seriously that's the solution holy hell Found it? sadly it's not the easiest solution i have to go through every single brush remove a button that's activated on them and then restart blender it's not the best thing ever and restart blender yeah because that will clear them out Yep. I have no clue why it's creating them every single time though. It shouldn't.
I don't think they're gonna do that vote again, the mule. I think Valve's just gonna be like, okay, we're just redoing this hero because the people are choosing for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Boy, did not need a remodel. Stop the time, hold your breath. You're the only one I see. Breathe me in, kiss your lips. You're <laughs> My person's not even flapping his wings. He's just gliding like an idiot. <laughs> his oh, wings are upside man. down. His wings are upside down, I mean, seriously. His wings are upside down, or backside, or reversed, right? Backside front. Yeah, yeah, that, that it doesn't really make sense. And he has no facial morphs or anything Unless like that. Unless they're related so. to Terror, uh, or to Terrorblade. Wow, that's a scratch. What's up, Luis? Doing okay, man. Finish up some hair and hopefully get into the loin cloth. Hair sticking a while though. One o'clock already. What's the name of the CK set that we made? We don't have a name for it yet and we haven't submitted it. We're gonna submit it after TI5 along with our chest. That'll have four other sets and a career. Or five sets and a career we're thinking. And the it's last gonna be fun. The CK will be it's gonna be fun. And this legend will be part of an event that we're trying to have happen at the same time as the chest get, gets pushed and released. And that uh, uh, hero bundle pack will have the legion commander, an axe hero bundle, a death prophet, and a nature's prophet set. Can I put the music down a little bit? Yes! Sometimes it goes up, man, depending on the song. There you go, man. It should be a little better. Okay, that cleared all those brushes out. I still don't know who, why they were there, though. Yeah. One more years. <laughs> what Queen B? Some of why that makes no sense. Like, what the hell? What's still creating those things? Yeah, like it's not like a com it's like when I deselect a brush and I go back into edit mode to select vertices and go back, it creates a new brush. It's like, why is it doing that? By the sign. It's some weird, kind of weird bug. I don't think it was intentional. I would 
that's a spectral. You never know, though. No, I, I, it stopped making those brushes. Interesting. That's good. Uh -huh. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, it just said like, ah, oh, I'm gonna stop now. So, So it just has to be Headless Horseman set? What, the name? No, no, wait, we'll come up with something clever. Didn't we actually come up with a name at some point? Nope. Reckless Rider of the Broken Promise. Actually, yeah, they were, they were close to something like that. The, the, the Hollow Horseman? No. It was something. We'll, we'll something think about it. Yeah, we're playing around with the Promise word. Uh, I don't know, it sounds too, too much. I'm sure Val will rename it to something at some point. <laughs> we'll spend like months uh, figuring out like the perfect name and I'll be like, nope. <laughs> We're gonna call uh, it the Headless Horseman. Oh, <laughs> seriously? Damn. Originality down the toilet. We'll be like, we gotta call it that. No, they actually usually pick really cool names when they re when they re uh, when they re Sometimes the Yeah, but sometimes the names also don't make much sense. Like um what was a good example? Um, the the weapon for uh, Scarif Mage we did like way back in December. Uh, me and Frosty like I think they renamed it down to like the Argent Spear, and Argent means white. The thing was blue, and it was a trident. So I don't know what was up with that. But it sounded cool. But it made no sense. <laughs> I mean, sure, it sounds cool, but... That's like, all I'm saying. I mean, I could call my, my bike a Ferrari, but I, I mean, it sounds cool, but I mean... It's not a... It's not a car, really. Depends if it's stolen. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it on stream. <laughs> but you know what I'm gonna say. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus doesn't have workshop, Viper doesn't have workshop, Troll, Cattle Fiend, Verge. Uh, there's the no excuse for him not to release Shadow Fiend at this point, to be honest. Yeah, like just super busy, I guess. Yeah, I guess they're just waiting on Source 2. I don't think they're releasing any hero until Source 2 drops. Because otherwise it's just like, they're just gonna have to code in slots for the heroes that they will have to eventually like, recode in like a month a month or two down the line, you know? No point doing the, the work twice. Hey, there's actually Porsche bikes? Seriously? Like bicycles, not actually like motorcycles? I'm talking about bicycles. I think, yeah, I think he meant motor motorbikes. Yeah.
We have gathered here today, my fellow Americans. <laughs> Are you being Obama? Well, someone mentioned it in chat, so I thought might as well. <laughs> what the fuck? I think I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Now, you need to go back on everything that you promised, okay? <laughs> of course, of okay. course. No source to you guys, sorry. That was all hogs. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> You're welcome. Didn't they have him on the, like, Jimmy Kimmel? Where he, he read like some... like a fucking celebrity. It's like, dude, be a fucking president. Nah. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah. <laughs> no, but, but like, he, he read, like, uh, mean tweets. Like, some of them was like, thanks, Obama. It was very meta. The 20 people that run his life told him to do that. Most likely. Two more leather shops on this guy. After we save our file. Uh, Labor Chop, I complimented your axe set. What the fuck, mate? Uh, we haven't made an axe set yet, man. If you're talking about the one on the liveworkshop.com website, uh, that's from another artist that we're helping promote and help them uh, get more people to see their their cool work. Along with a whole bunch of other stuff that we put on there from other artists. But thank you. I'm glad you like it. Enigma? Enigma's not available for the workshop, I don't think. Nope, he is not. Sadly. He he also needs a remodel, by the way. He has, like, the lowest polygon model of them all. Like, Enigma. I think he's, like, a... Yeah, I think he's, like, w like 1.2k or something like that on his love zero. Mm. Well, I mean, he's just, like, a little ghostly dude. I mean, there's nothing to him, really, right? It's all texture and effects. Yeah, yeah, it is. Interested to see how to make sets for that guy. Yeah. And I hope that no one goes with the whole green stuff on him as well, like they did on Void. With the what? You know how Void has all of the green stuff on him? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's uh, remnants from Warcraft 3 right there. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the green stuff on Void. I mean, they have so many heroes, right? They gotta choose pallets. Yeah. Kinda works, I guess. What do we cut this guy up down here? Get out of the way. Ooh. Wrap up a little bit. A little bit like so I can brush in the placeholder strip. Right around there. We need to kill it over here. The, the darkness. The abyss. Yes. <laughs> I agree. Completely. But here I'm working on right now, this is a Legion Commander 
we're doing the, the hair pass on the seabrush right now. Still, uh, I think this is just our second subdivision. I think the first one, really, we kind of just went straight into it. Helmet already done. Guard up. And we did a shield and Aegis. We did her cape. And we did her shoulder piece. And still need to do her weapon, her lance. And we need to do her loincloth and crutch plate. We really need to find a better name for that. Crutch plate? Yeah, doesn't doesn't quite roll off the tongue, does it? <laughs> Box armor? Cod piece? <laughs> there is a cod piece, even no, though she I'm does not. not really cut Despite the fact that she has nothing for the cod piece, she it is technically a cod piece. What, is, what does the chat say about, the, about this very serious matter? Hotbox? Seriously? No. Uh, this is trying not to go insane, I guess. And him referring to himself in third person is not a good sign. Yeah, Troll's not available now. Yeah, the problem with Troll is that they have to code the way his axes work, the way... Uh, think of Fudge Hook and how that works. Like, uh, it... Um, the way it actually works is like it always uses whatever weapon is in his uh, weapon slot for his uh, particle file. So it's the same thing. They have to, like, call that stuff in and have it automatically work with the workshop submissions as well, so they don't have to do extra work every time they have to implement a punch hook. They're separate, they're different. Yeah. yeah. Alright, the mule, see you later, man. <laughs> Alright, man, sounds good, sounds good. Have a good night. We're making custom particles, too? Yes, actually. Uh, we should probably show that, man. You want to show that? Uh, what exactly? Oh, the, the Legion? Yeah. Yeah, 
sure, why not? Might as well. Eddie Yeti 20, well, thank you, man. Appreciate the follow. He's tweaking the, the skinning. Uh, oh my god. I'm tweaking the skinning on the kid. M04 in Minecraft Mo Zero. That is the longest name ever. Welcome to the lab workshop, man. D don't they have like a limit on name lengths? <laughs> no, that was pretty long. I couldn't even read it. Yeah, I'll wait till you for load all that shit and not keep working on this hair. Um, I'm in the game. Oh, now you get to wait. Damn it. Finish this trap right here. Put a little block in. I think people can kind of see it on the real screen. Are you doing it already? Uh, I'm just like shift Q, like lining them up like crazy, and they're just like. <laughs> one second, man, I was down here. Alright, yeah, I just want to block that guy in. Alright, one second. Okay. And it'll make your screen large. Oh my god, you're spamming the shit out of those arrows. Uh, I just like queue them up, yeah. Alright. Here you go. <laughs> Way more hours for you guys. Way so more yeah, fun. We changed the arrow texture. Uh, there's some green for absolutely no reason right now. We'll still touch it up, it's just a placeholder. Uh, but we added. It's uh, blue. It's blue? Alright, whatever. Well, it's green yeah. all the way around it. Uh, we also added uh, red emitters to the arrows. And we added a lot more arrows for his spell, so it's a lot more spark. Sparta. Yeah. And all the particles are darker and stuff, so it's way nicer. Works better with their counter too, actually. It does. So, there you go. There's so many more arrows, love it. Well, the original had like five arrows. It was like, very disappointing. <laughs> This says like 30? Yeah, 30, 35, I think we went with. Yeah. And what we're thinking for that spell is we'll change her animation so that she actually puts her shield over her head and some arrows actually land on her shield and she then uh, uh, slices them off with her lance to clean off her shield. Well, well, we still have to test that out to see if it's not too long of an animation. Because like the the actual animation is quite quite fast. It's like this is just like a, she points and that's it, you know? Yeah. We don't want to make it too long. I mean, uh, it would tween with her running about, right? Like her. Arms. Well, well, uh, I don't know. We'll have to test it out. You know? Yeah. 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 Uh, you mean you're kind of not the immortal, but uh, it'll look fine, don't worry about it. Like, you can replace the lance to the sword, it's all still gonna be nice. Have you run that yet? Uh, no, but I've tested in the animation, like in, in Max, it looks fine, so you it should be good. Like they're, they're kinda right now? No, that's the, the thing that annoys me the most, you can't actually like rip arcanas in the test crime for some oh, reason. Oh, damn. Yeah. It's, it's very annoying. Yeah, man, that's the idea. 
dragging that's that my, fucking team behind her. Bruce Parton. And that's like my worst nightmare ever. Like making that cape look nice. <laughs> it's been such a nightmare to do. Especially if someone like does this shit where they run in place and, and rotate, which is annoying because that spazzes the cape out like crazy. Yeah. Please don't do that. Okay, let me show you guys what the a little bit uh, more updated textures look like on her. For her cape at least. You're seeing like uh, just color and some checker map because it's missing materials. Uh, but yeah, we started throwing some uh, uh, dirt and a uh, nice ripped alpha for her cape. And started throwing some colors on the shield super early. And yeah, right now we're doing the sea brush for her hair. And we finished the sea brush for her helmet. And the left the things that are left to do are her loin cloth pieces, her cod piece, <laughs> and uh, her lance. And then all the sea brush will be done. And we can move on to finishing the, those bakes and then do the textures, materials, and all the other stuff. Finishing the animations, special effects, thumbnails, marketing piece, etc, etc, etc. All the fun stuff. cool the arcana yeah we can't change the arcana but i mean you can still use the arcana it's just you won't have our alliance uh, i think if you have to have the, the, her dual swords is that right a bit yeah yeah it's her dual swords so she would have one of, one of the swords is on the hip and their one is in her or in her hand it still works through the animations and everything it looks like the sport and playing style and everything so it's gonna be fine don't worry about it oh guys. they just put the other sword in her hip so the shield still works well yeah that's the idea Okay, if people have the shield. So if people load the shield up, then our animations kick in, where that second sword is on her hip. If you don't have the shield, and you want both swords in her hands, then she'll have the default animations, right? Yeah, yeah. Simple as that, really. So yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of thinking that we have to figure all that shit out, but it works. Uh, Abyss actually did all that. Well, it was a team effort. All of this stuff. Really? No, the Arcana replaces the the spear only. If you have the shield, then you get our animations, our new animations for her. I mean, you and you still have the cable still work, uh, but I mean, you, you'll want to have the shield on. The, the animations for this are so freaking cool. Especially when you, we finish the textures and the materials for the shield. You better nice have and it shiny on. Shiny and detailed, and I still need to go in here and actually paint it by hand. Paint all the highlights and paint the background so that they actually come out and it's nice and readable in game. And uh, do the shininess, you know, all those material things in game. And it look pretty good. I mean, you better have our shield on. <laughs> if you know what's good for you. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Buy it now. Buy it. Do it. Do it now. <laughs> Door down! Exactly. See? Gear strategies work for marketing as well. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. God, if only like the the thing limitation was to four bones, that would have been so much better. It used to be one. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> it used to be really shitty back in the day. I know, but it's 2015. I mean, seriously. Like, look at the we difference. Had do, uh, we had to do models with uh, like 
like the forearm was one whole model like watertight so like the elbow like we you know all rounded out and then you have to like put them both like interjoining each other and then they would just kind of like rotate you know all attached to one bone and that's how you would have your arms actually together and be yeah no I... at the same time yeah because because uh, back then you couldn't like do yeah, the whole foundation of courtesy to one bone instead of smoothing across multiple bones yeah but i mean like look at the difference between like this over here like uh, uh, like these two like over here like on this edge like right now like this is with four and this is with three like the difference is you know yeah no i, know. I hear you it's just so oh uh, god damn god damn it For the animations, he's animating in uh, 3D Max, but he is skinning in Blender. Yep. What can you do to minimize the odd cape movement uh, seen on the Weird Runner Immortal? So that's just a special effect, and the actual effect that they use for that is uh, they have uh, like this randomizing kind of uh, you know uh, with graph kind of math stuff, but. It just they, they have it going crazy and then they stretch it across and they give it a life and speed and that's what creates the effect right and then the, the lifetime of it creates a um, kind of multiplies with the movement so if the character is moving then uh, it, it follows behind it and dies off after a certain amount of uh, milliseconds uh, so if you didn't want it to move like you know as jittery as crazy then there's like a whole bunch of different um, settings that change for that so that it's not as wobbly if that's what you're asking I can show an example on the CK, but we're not showing that yet, so sorry guys, we gotta wait. You know? You can load the effect for the cape if you're, like, if you're in... Yeah, I guess I can... Uh... the FMV stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, I can, I can just do, load up the... I mean, they did that on purpose. Like, if you see the the necro, actually, I think the necro is still in here. I see. Uh, let me just see. I mean, he uses the same type of ribbons, and like their movement is way nicer. Like they did that on purpose. Like just for for God knows what reason. You know, just I guess otherwise it would look too boring. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's obviously it's definitely the design. I mean, it looks cool. Yeah, see like the necro over here? I mean these are pretty much like the same exact type of ribbons. It's just that these ones like move in a different way. Like these were meant to be more ghostly and you know, more timid. So you get this kind of thing. I still think that the hair should be like more self illuminate uh, so more uh, like glowy. It's more glowy I know in you game though. Well, if we do it too glowy, then it'll be super glowing game and look okay in the loading screen. So, this is kind of like the middle ground where we landed on it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah it, it still does blow out in game like crazy. Like, look at yeah, this. so imagine if we went higher than that, you just lose all the, the all that strand work that we did in ZBrush. Yeah. Ghost face. You guys like the ghost face? Ghost face is rad, man. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I should show off all the stuff we did for the Starlighter stuff, right? Okay. I mean, that's okay to show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Okay. What's that? Also, I gotta redo this bowl over here and actually add it in, in true particles instead of actually adding two materials on there. They'll actually like, fix our issue we had in the loadout where it wasn't actually showing the ball. Uh, 
Uh, can we make the under the effects of the press the attack? Make the lighter bits of the shield shine? Uh, you're talking about is that the Q, the W or the Q? I don't I forget the names of Legion. I don't play Legion a lot, but uh, yeah, I mean we're still playing around to uh, what we do with the other effects for her. So not sure yet. Uh, real one Dutch. Oh, real one Dutch, man. You have no. You haven't seen our, our CK, huh? I'll show you guys one gift. This shows you uh, our hero bundles for Starlight. So right now, Abyss is showing off our, pari our Piranha staff for Witch Doctor. Also the Piranha. Piranha's animated in there in his uh, goblet. goblet staff. Also, we uh, his Q. Yeah, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we replaced his Q with a Piranha. Because, you know, those Piranhas and all that fun stuff. And there's some water splashing instead of the, the poison and stuff. Because, you know, fish and stuff. And of course, all the little fishies. <laughs> so we replaced the ward uh, with ghost fish and ghost bones at the bottom. And when they bounce around, the enemies, uh, actual, the, the real piranhas actually come out and bounce off of them and bounce around on the ground as well. Uh, it looks pretty, pretty ridiculous. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. This stuff that we're showing right now, no, that's for that's gonna be for season 13 for Starlighter. We're thinking. Uh, we're trying to put yeah. it out for season 12, but we couldn't uh, that, we couldn't make that happen. Uh, so we're we're pushing it for season 13. Uh, we're oh, that's the Q on the Necro. I don't know. I have to actually load it up properly. For some reason, it, you have to refresh it. Uh, All right. While you do that, I'm gonna show them a quick GIF of our Chaos Knight stat right here. Uh, well, he's holding the pumpkin on the other hand, but this is the other side where you can see his sword uh, dripping with the lava, as well as uh, the horse face, the mouth dripping with lava. It actually drips on the ground and leaves it behind with some uh, some errors, you know, with a collision on the loading screen. Yeah, a whole bunch of other cool effects like neck piece. We have some. Uh, uh, kind of can't see him really too much on, on this particular gif. Because they happen every now and then, but we have ash and little embers flowing out of his neck hole as well. And then, um, well, I guess I should show you. You guys can see the head. There we go, now it works. So the avatar is actually situated for the pumpkin. And when the Chaos Knight speaks, the actual pumpkin speaks. Yeah, they got the Q working on them. Oh, you got it? Okay. I just saw this last one on focus. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, I can load up the CK right now if you want. The CK? No, 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 we'll wait. Oh, okay. I'm just giving a little okay. tease. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, man. Uh, put the screen uh, large again for you. Go ahead. Okie dokes. So we're going to be making actually uh, some videos, some little cinematic videos for our Lifestealer and for our Chaos Knight. 
and we're gonna be taking them to the International 5 and we're gonna be showing them off at our booth space five. along with some other goodies Oh, and she gave it to him. That's nice. Okay, we'll put Necro far away because I accidentally leveled up his uh, aura. And that's just killing the Red Kings. Uh, create. Uh, who do we also have? Ogre, right? Ogre powered. Ogre powered. There he is. And that's not loading all of the effects, is it? Nope. Uh, it's sniper just... Ooh, the sniper's gonna be fun. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, the head is a shield, yes, for the headless horseman. Absolutely. We replace the shield with the, the pumpkin head. And the glove that's holding it. Hmm. Too far from the original design from Bob. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's good, man. It's all good. It's all good, man. Yeah. Am um, I doing buttons again this year? I didn't do buttons last year, man. Those were uh, the other folk. We, uh, we did prints and t-shirts. Mm. The only for some reason doesn't want to work. <laughs> nice weather. Uh, no, the, the, the fish don't fall out when he turns it sideways for the, uh, for the special effects. I think the fish actually just disappear for that animation, I forget. No, no they, they still stay in there. Oh, they're in there? Okay, so yeah, they just, they're just in their magic or something. Yeah. But I just gotta know one thing. He takes a drink and the fish bite his face off. <laughs> Are you ready? Hmm. The the ogre for some reason doesn't want to work properly. Oh, the effects not coming out of the X. Yeah, I don't know why. There should be. It's just stuck on the original ones for some reason. But yeah, it has like little embers and stuff just spewing out and stuff. It's very cool. I wish you could you guys could see it. Oh well. These effects work though. That's weird. You can come over the link. And they can see the gifts at in the workshop. Uh, can you can you actually link that for them? It's uh, what's the, what's the command? Actually, it's just the vote SL. Yeah, vote SL twelve. Yeah, I got it. Are you ready? The hell is this one? No, these are weird. The, the Q is working, but for some reason his uh, D doesn't want to work today. I'll have to look into that one. Uh, oh yeah. Snapper time. The sniper has a little piece of cloth on the front of the gun. Because, you know, why not? It's burning everywhere and, and things and stuff. Hopefully anybody out this time. Oh, 
No, there's a cup, guys. Oh, the ultimate? Yeah, for a sniper. He pulls out a scope out of his pants and puts it on a thing and then flies off. He falls on his ass. <laughs> and also the, the shot has new effects on the emitter. Yep. His like gun like does a spray shot. Kinda looks uh, I guess like a bit like the Moro, but like it's like the, the effect coming out of the gun itself is a bit different. And the right click has new uh, spark effects as well. Yeah, exactly, exactly that's what I'm saying. And also when he runs, he kicks up a lot of dust behind him. Oh yeah, there's dust dropping from him at all points as well. He's a little like desert rat kinda. He's a dust devil. And when he runs, he, he kicks up the dirt from him. And there's also the dust just falling off of his body. He's a dirty little bastard. Uh, who else do we have in this bundle? Um, is it Reef King? Yeah. That's six, that's six here, was that? I think I forgot the PA. Oh, your PA, yeah. Blood there braid. he is. The good old Blood Braid. So nice. Yes, yeah, stupid. Oh, she actually has the. Oh, she has enemy set on. That's interesting. Oh, that's cool. That actually works. He, oh, that's right. Because I was doing the the effects for the shoulders last yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. The these effects should hopefully be in the game soon as well. If that was nice with us. Like I don't I, know if that's gonna happen. Bit, yeah, I know. Because there's some nice ribbons in there. You know, they look nice. They do look nice. But I wouldn't hold my breath. Yeah. Oh yeah, she has a new dagger. Put a blood braid on it as well. Kind of like drops blood as it's flying through the air. Uh, what hero are we forgetting? Like, one, two, three, four, five, six... No, that's six heroes, right? Yeah, just six more. Yeah. Not enough for the bundle? Jesus. More. We want more. More epic <laughs> shit. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow, this is that that's a neat bug. Um So I um uh, I spawned the PA in and because the shoulders for the PA uh had like a uh, I, I think when I was back in the day I was still testing her, I, I like for a joke put in like some crows that would just fall out for a weapon. Oh my and god, that's a lot of black feathers, dude. I just saw it. The, I was those are, sculpting those over are, I wasn't those are not feathers, those are actual crows. That's pretty cool. So this is a bug, this is not intentional, but... Um, <laughs> and they're landing on their feet too. <laughs> some are, some are just upside down into the ground. You can <laughs> kind of see the feet poking out. That is out. amazing. That is totally a bug because I actually have New these feature. shoulders on there. New feature. Pro bass. <laughs> Uh, that's um, actually this. They start ca coming out of the uh, the murder of crows right there. Look at what they're coming out of, though. They replaced the piranhas for some reason. <laughs> oh my god! So it's actually spawning piranhas. Uh, that is awesome. Crows. It's a never-ending shower of crows. That's. Uh, I better quit the game before this crashes my computer because this has potential. <laughs> That was pretty cool. Alright, so those are preview for Star Ladder stuff. He's in third team. Bug, bug, bug. I wanna be the Bashi dude. 
good fun times to be had. <laughs> Working as intended. Exactly, exactly. That's totally how it's supposed to work, right guys? This. I'm gonna delete the shield from this. Is it getting in the way? Always. Of course, of course. As shields often tend to do. We'd love to see the cross on that older Storm Crow set, the Witch Doctor Crow set. Yeah, that'd be cool. There's a. Oh, that one. Yeah. Legionitis. Hey, man, that's not a bad name. We can't use it, but that's clever. <laughs> I think I told you this like yesterday. I went back and actually like watched uh, some of the fighting scenes in uh, 300. 300. Mm -hmm. Oh man, it's. Um, I mean, it, it looks in nice if you don't know, like if you didn't do any research into how actually like Spartans used to fight back then. I mean, it, it gets the job done. It looks nice, Hollywood style, and, and all of that. But once you do your research and then look back at that thing, it's like, oh my god, what are they doing? <laughs> it's like you would never like open up your shield and, and start like killing people. You're you pretty much like exposing everyone else besides you to like attacks. It's like, no, what are you doing? You're supposed to be the commander, don't do this shit. Because they like open it up and attack and then close them back up in the movie, right? Well, well, not that. I mean, like they, they just like open up their shields and and they like start like swinging like crazy, which is like the first big no no. Like if you do that, you, you're pretty much like exposing everyone, like the the guy next to you in the lineup, and you're pretty much like killing your own dudes. Because the whole idea is that you create a a, a wall for the guy next to you, and etc. etc. It's like, oh, hi, um, uh, yeah. And there's also the, the moment where the guy tosses his spear, hits one guy, and a guy that's standing next to the other guy that got hit also falls down for some reason. Oh, really? Yeah, he, there, there, there's like two Persian guys just running at him, and he tosses his spear, and like it's this like big cinematic moment. Oh, the slow motion, and they both kind of like fall. Well, like, uh, like first of all, like the, the guy he hits kind of like jumps off the ground, and and then starts to slide backwards and, uh, and fall like, from I think the I head. Know what you're talking about. But for some reason, the guy right next to him does the same thing with him. <laughs> Thank death, new move. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, I think like someone like uh, did the math and if you like re like played the whole movie without the slow motion like everything was in real time the whole movie would uh, equate to like 30 minutes of footage <laughs> I remember somebody joking about it I don't know if it's true uh, it is a thing actually like I'm not even kidding like I watched the YouTube video, someone like actually like counted how how many like slow mo shots are in the film. 
It's like, a, I think it was something around 200. Oh, uh, not 300? No, uh, sadly not. Like, that would be pretty 179 <laughs> or something like that. That would be pretty funny, actually, though. Give the movie a new meaning. What's the purpose of the capes? Some sort of warmth, I guess they can sleep. Just Style, mean, like, man. I mean, they didn't have those capes, you know, in, in real Spartan days, obviously. It's just a movie thing. Yeah. And Pretty they actually much. had armor, and the real Spartans had armor. Yeah. The movie's just what Frank Miller, what he wanted to have naked men. Like all his other comics. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? It's a very weird guy. I saw him at Comic Con one year, and they were going through like the panel for one of his movies that he was part of or whatever. I don't know if he directed it. If it was like the uh, what was it? A really bad movie that he got to direct. Uh, the one with the guy had the red uh, tie, I guess. It was all black and white, just like Sin City. Sin City? No, it wasn't was just, like Sin City, but it was like the guy had like a red tie. I think it was the look. Anyways, it was the biggest. It was a really bad movie. And at the panel, they're like going through like all the actors or whatever, asking questions. And then they get to, you know, they're asking the same question to all the guys, right? And they get to Frank Miller, who was sitting at the end. And the guy was just like, in, I don't know if he was, I don't know what, where, where he was, but he just like looks over and there's like thousands of people watching, right? And he's just like, huh? Sorry? What was, was there a question? It's like com completely out of his head. <laughs> out of his mind, man. Did not give a fuck. <laughs> Why did you walk up there on the panel? I did it for the lols. Oh, uh, he's just a nut dude. He's a nut duck. That's all. I, he probably didn't mean to be disrespectful to the rest of the, the crew there that are super excited to be part of the whatever. But yeah, the guy's just weird duck, man. There's nothing wrong with that. No, it's just very weird to throw him in a marketing thing when he's not present. <laughs> well, yes, of course. I mean, the crowd was just laughing at his answers too, because he was just like, answering really weird shit. It got pretty funny. Probably on YouTube, actually. You gotta check that out sometimes. Decent first pass, I guess. I have to fix up a whole bunch of other little things, but good first pass. Maybe, maybe I need another one in here somewhere. I need three. Three's too much. I wish I had could do something here near the bottom. Maybe just like a little. Yeah, I think we'll do like a little one now. And then LED Zero will actually do it with uh, more subdivisions or uh, more edge edges there. Because all that hair is coming together, and I mean, it's, it's how you would do it in low poly stuff like this, but I think we can make it look functional if we throw a little strap in as well. Close to the end. The normal map should give us a hand on making this look decent, even at LOD1.
And again, we'll make it look nicer going through our next two subdivisions. Start clipping those guys up. Not a lot of polygons in this area right now. Oh yeah, that's right, we had this bridge going all the way to the top to save a lot of polygons in our LED one. So super jaggedy. So what's going on? suggestion in the next Ursa set that we'll be making apparently. Uh, give him some boxing gloves with blades coming out of them. Like Wolverine with boxing gloves. That would be hilarious. <laughs> well, it would. Actually, isn't there like a, well I guess it's a snow glove or tusk? Yeah, he does have that one. Well, it's so not a snow glove, like it's a, a boxing glove, I guess. That, that is a boxing glove, actually. Is it? Yeah. Actually, who made that? One of our friends made that from the workshop. Oh, who was it? Bronto Thunder, I think, made it? Actually, yeah, I think, yeah, I think I can remember uh, showing it off at TI3. They were showing us the ZBrush called for it, and yeah, like, they, they, they love, actually, ZBrush for the, the wrinkles uh, look fantastic. I remember that very clearly. Just made it with a workshop. It happens right there, man. If you're looking for uh, the workshop and our items, you can just click on the blue button below where it says radar item. So you don't have to do any searching or anything. It is for you, man. And these guys need that little bit as well, like that here. Holy crap. Oh no! You know when uh, ZBrush would lose my sensitivity? This? Yeah, yeah. Minimizing ZBrush and maximize it again fixes it. Uh, what? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's uh, um... Vincent. Vincent told me that. I was like, "What? Really? That's the fix?" Well, it, it, be happy to. Be, it does not make a lot of sense, but be happy that it's just that simple of a fix. Apparently, it's the Wacom driver, or the, the the yeah, I guess the the Wacom drivers losing connection with ZBrush because ZBrush did something weird. And that's and then just minimize him and maximize it, kind of hooks him back up. The the only thing I wish from Wacom is for it to remember my freaking settings every t like after I like restart my computer. That, that's the most annoying thing ever. What? What's that? Some, well, like it doesn't like remember any of my like settings on the tablet and after the like restart. Like your buttons or anything? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Uh, yep. I have to like like that's one of the other reasons why I keep my laptop like uh, like at night I just put it on seat mode or whatever. Don't actually turn it off because yeah, yeah. everyone's it, like it fucks with my settings.
We make a living from out of this one. It's a living. You can uh, read the FAQ uh, to see the other places that we worked at before this. Or that I worked at before this. Yeah. I'm the new guy. Let's go into celebration. Start with celebration next week. I am finally going. Go be with your people. Oh, yeah, my brethren. on today looks like air genius deduction man good job <laughs> looks like hair feels like spaghetti uh this is zbrush right now man home spaghetti sure why not oh there goes zbrush messing up Should make a drinking game game out of this. Like whenever Zebra does something stupid, <laughs> then like after after five minutes, we just call the ambulance. We're like, well, we have to stop this stream now because we're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> What? Probably the hates techno or whatever the hell we're listening to. We just have it in the background, really. Like once you get working, like you just need some form of noise in the background to really get yourself concentrated, really. So. For the most part, uh, Monster, Monster Cat has yeah, the music really is awesome. cool stuff. They are a good publisher. Yeah. Every now and then you get like the weird track, you're like, what? Most of the stuff is pretty cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got a good, uh. But buy their stuff. For, for working. Go buy, go buy their stuff, guys. To totally not a brand deal. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> well, they hooked us up for free, which is really nice of them. Really cool guys. Yeah, so, um. Do it now! Do it!
Oh my god. Pretty alright. Even though it's super low poly, but pretty up. What time is it? Two. It's like mm -hmm. eleven, almost noon over here. I like these new stream times. They're very nice. <laughs> these Good are job. terrible times. I love these are, them. These are too late. Started way too late. Thanks to these like stream times, I'm like able to get back to a normal sleep cycle. So uh, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sure yours is totally fucked right now. Oh but, yes. Uh... Oh yes. <laughs> I'm doing fine. I'm doing wonderfully. Watermelon, favorite hero? Uh, no. I mean, I, I think I use him every now and then, but he's none of my favorites. Is, is he on the, the FAQ? I mean, I, it's, I play him, but it's none of my favorites. Watermelon? What? Watermelon, one of my favorite heroes. I think I did put him on there as one of the heroes I play. But, uh, I don't- not usually. Only if the team really needs it, I'm able to play him decently. Oh, you're talking about Tide, Jesus. That yeah, took me too long huh? to- that, that took me way too long to figure out. The art on your website is so impressive. Oh man, thank you, uh... Oh, Jesus, what's your name? Linkle <laughs> TJE. Alright, thank you, man. Whose cape is that? Whose cape is what? Oh, the Legion Commander. Check it out. Whoop. Abyss is uh, skinning it and adding some bones uh, to make it smoother. Yeah, here's the here's the seat brush of it. Here's the low poly with a placeholder texture. And in a few minutes, Abyss can show you guys what we have running in game so far, with all our placeholder stuff. But it's it's working in game, all rigged up and everything. I like our new soundboard we have there for all the sound effects you're doing. What? The whoop and stuff. Just oh kidding, yeah, man. oh no, that was that was XSI, man. Yeah, right. Yeah, that was XSI. Totally, totally, totally. of course. But, but, in all honesty though, we should probably do a soundboard, just for the <laughs> fun of it. You have a whole, like, subsection for horrible Irish accents. We'll get, uh, some Irish lines from you. Uh-huh. <laughs> some, I... some President Obama. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the, the elections are coming up, aren't they? Like next year know, or something? I can't, I can't fucking vote. Yeah, you're a, you're a dirty, dirty immigrant. Like the rest of the Americans. <laughs> get out of America! Okay, you get out too, bitch! <laughs> fucking idiot. All the Indians, yeah. It's like, real Americans. So, uh, Native Americans? So, immigrant as well? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing though, like, people like, where are you from? America? No, seriously, like, where, like, are you Dutch? German? Like, seriously. Your background, background. Yeah, like, ser where are you really from, though? Alright, I'm getting really tired. I'm really hungry. I gotta cook something. It's 2 in the morning. Uh, let's have a bit show us uh, what we have going on in game. And we will call it a stream, and we'll come back tomorrow. And we'll finish up the ZBrush for the hair, for the, uh, the next detail pass of it, make it all nice and pretty. And we'll move on to the loincloth, the hot piece, and we'll do the lance as well. So we'll knock out, hopefully we can finish the seabrush tomorrow so we can move on and, and continue working on our brewmaster, our skywrath, ember spirit, our dandy set, and our wind ranger. So we have five sets that we're gonna try and finish for TI5. So let's bring up uh, sky... Jesus, what, five? Mind. Seriously? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Five? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Crazy people. Yeah, I have a crazy. Uh, yeah, but it hasn't stopped us in the past, so. Whoop. So By again, the way, you're showing. A lot of placeholder textures where you guys can see our cape, shield, uh, the default uh, lance from Legion Commander, 
I don't think we have our shoulder items on here yet. And you see like a color, uh, like a super old texture for the cape with cross like check or mark on it because it's missing materials or what. But basically, what we're looking at here is just the model and the poses and how it's uh, being skinned and uh, the rigging behind it. And uh, yeah, the new, there's a new uh, aggressive pose when there's people nearby. That looks pretty aggressive, I love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the cape moving about, dragging on the floor. Now uh, we have a new Q spell for her arrows. Look at all those... <laughs> There's so many more arrows now, it looks great. Arrows everywhere. Awesome, Ooh, awesome. And yeah, we're gonna be making new animations for our other spells as well. And as we move on, we'll, we'll make sure we show you guys. And we'll be posting some works, uh, work in progress. If we don't stream part of it, we'll show uh, the work in progress stuff on our Facebook page. So uh, if you scroll down, you can join our Facebook page and uh, you'll see a lot of work in progress stuff on there that you might not see on the stream. Or if you miss the stream, you'll see the stuff that we worked on there in the stream. Under and we also throw other artists uh, stuff on there to try and help them out and funny Dota stuff or things that are coming out for Dota. And uh, yeah, so make sure you guys give us a follow on here as well so you guys don't miss the stream tomorrow or join our Steam group. If you're on your PC on your Steam, you'll get a notification when we go live. And me and Abyss will say goodnight for tonight and we'll come back tomorrow, okay? Bye. Good night, <laughs> Peace people. Out, guys. Thanks for joining us tonight. Appreciate the subs and the company. Later. Later.